Today we're gonna to look at how to take this end piece of maple, turn it into a bottle stopper. Let's get started. So the first step in making this into something more usable is to cut it down and uh, figure out what wants. We don't need this whole piece, we're just gonna take a little chunk out of this section right here. So line it up on the table saw, make a few cuts, and we'll uh, have a more usable blank. Now that we have the blank cut to size, we're gonna mark the center and then punch a hole with an ice pick. So now that we have our block marked with our center dot and a indent there for our drill bit point to pick up, we're gonna do two sets of drilling. First, with any big portion of it, it doesn't have to be this big, it's just the one that happens to still be in the drill press, but this is going to get a perfectly flat reference face, so that make sure that these two sides are definitely parallel. And it'll also make sure that this is 90 degrees to this hole, which is 5 16 which will ensure that we can put it right on our mandrel. So, with that said, let's get drilling. And there you have it, 5 16 inch hole all the way. And you can just see just the little tips of the corners are left here. And that'll ensure that we get a perfect, nice flat, flat face against our mandrel. So let's get over to the lathe, start turning. So we got our drilled out blank and our mandrel. And the mandrel actually has a slit in it that makes tapping pretty simple. So all you have to do, spin it. And as you turn, back it out every once in a while, it slowly taps a set of threads in there, brush them out, make sure this doesn't get clogged so it can continue to cut a nice clean thread. And you just have to thread it on. And away you go. You guys see if you can bring it in. You can see in there, we've got a nice tapped thread ready to turn. Now the thread's tapped and you got it nice and clean, just thread it back on. And again, this time, just gotta make sure you don't cross thread it. It goes on super easy because there's already a cut thread. It's just like screwing on a bolt. It does squeak like crazy. But once it's seated up there nice and tight, Bring in your tool rest, and you are ready to turn. Now they're all ready, fire her up, start turning. And there we have it. Shape is all finished up, and she's ready for sanding. So, Pull the tool rest out of the way, get the lathe going at a much lower speed, work our way through the grits. The last step in this process, adding a little oil, really popping that green. buff and you get a nice satin sheet. Okay, one last step and that's to unscrew the bottle stopper from the mandrel. And I like to tap the threads out a little bit and then you take the bottle stopper, thread it onto the base and because this has the exact same thread pitch as the mandrel, screw it on, give it a good tug and you have your finished 
fully completed bottle stopper. And so here's our finished bottle stopper. Got some really great figure coming through as well as a lot of cool spalting lines. Just adds a great, great bit of nature to your daily life.